My box is here. It's here. So, I got a new box. First, we're going to talk about the changes that they're making. So, apparently, Imperfect Produce is making some changes. I just got my laptop out. Well, it's... Yeah. So, um, I got an email last week, and pretty much... Okay, I'll just read it. Um, let's see. The one catch. To implement this new system... Oh, they're having a new system. Um, new deliveries, new drivers, new technology. So, the things that are changing... Our new customization window is now from 3 p.m. to Friday, 12 p.m. So, basically, right now, <clears throat> I can customize my box from... Friday, they'll email me usually like at 3 o'clock, and I'll have the whole weekend pretty much until like Sunday at noon. And it's like, okay, go ahead and pick what you want, or we're going to send you some stuff. Um, so apparently that's changing. So now it's going to be Thursday from 3 until Friday noon. It's like a less day, one less day, I guess. Um, I guess it's not bad, um, but I'm really excited about this. Your new delivery time is from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. But if you'd like to change it, you can change it to 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., so that's four hours, or um, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., or 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., and all you got to do is log in. Um, and everything officially starts today, June 14th. Oh, my God, so today I'll be custom... Oh, no, I won't be customizing a new box, because I switched from... I went from weekly to bi-weekly. It was just becoming too much, um, kind of too expensive, um... And, like, I felt like I was throwing a lot of stuff away. I don't want to be wasteful. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited about those new changes. Also, ugh, yesterday I got a text. And it was, like, literally, like, 8.30. And they're like, your box is outside. And I was like, what? That was the earliest I've gotten a box. Um, I was super excited about it. Um, of course, I had been waiting since 6 o'clock when I got off work. Um, I have not gotten a bell pepper before. Um, but this is my bell pepper, and it didn't specify what color, but this looks pretty good. Like, nothing looks wrong with it. Um, and my bell pepper, let's see if I got my bell pepper down. Oh my gosh. I didn't write anything about my bell pepper. Oh no. I didn't write anything about anything. My bad. So that's my bell pepper. Let's see. Oh, I remember I got this. It's a yam or a sweet potato. And the reason I got it, it was, I think, 37 cents a pound or 37 cents for one, um, was it said astronomical shapes. Astronomical? Astronomical. It's pretty big, though. Um, honestly, I don't think I'm going to eat it. I'll probably just take it to my mom. I got it just to see, like, how crazy it would look. And I feel like this is pretty big. So that's just gonna go to my mom's. Um, I got some lemons. I remember lemons. Oh, five lemons. Five lemons. Um, I think they said that these are a surplus. I feel like mo literally most of the things on there are surplus, the like surplus, surplus. So when I find something that says like crazy shapes or twisted. So one day I got some. Um, carrots a while ago for my roommate and they said twisted shape so we got them and they were perfectly fine so sometimes I'll just get something just to see like what it looks like there's not much left I don't get too much red onions and apparently I got three of them I have so many onions now so I have red onions yellow onions white onions onions are like a staple I guess when I get something from imperfect produce it's like it seems to be like what I get um, and of course Potatoes, little red potatoes. I don't think I have ever gotten white potatoes and I'm kind of sad about that because when you click it, you know, it doesn't specify what color you're gonna get. So I'm kind of sad that I have not gotten white ones. Maybe the white ones just look like crap. Oh no, as I'm looking in my little box, I'm seeing that I don't have very much fruit. I don't have no nectarines, no mangoes. Oh my God, the mangoes. The mangoes have been like $2 and four cents. I can't, you know. Um, so I haven't been getting any mangoes. But I did go to Ralph's a couple of days ago and I got some mangoes and they were not ripe at all. 
um, but they were like 69 cent. So I got two of them and put them in a plastic paper bag. Um, and they came out fine a couple days later. One thing I always have to get, kiwis. Um, the kiwis are so good. Um, yeah, I like kiwis. I think I got two, no, two pounds? No, each one came with eight. Okay, so I just got one order, I guess. Each each one comes with eight. Show you them. And here are eight kiwis. You can't see all eight. They're pretty good, though. Um, I really like the kiwis. So that would be one thing if they were like, oh, we don't have no more kiwis. I'd probably be pretty sad. Also, I've been getting cucumbers. Um, this time I tried, I believe these are like Persian cucumbers. Um, they're probably like just soft and you can eat the skin because the skin is kind of softer. Um, I thought they would come in a container because that's what it looked like um, when I ordered them, but I guess not. And there's five of these, so I'll cut these up and throw some tahini on it and... And that's it. Okay. My box is empty. I'm kind of sad. There's nothing else. I'm looking down. There's no mangoes. There's... They did have a pineapple. Um, and I thought that was the first time I saw a pineapple. That was cool. Um, but I don't know. I don't want to have to cut a pineapple and deal with all that. And ugh, I already get annoyed having to cut up a mango and get my hands all sticky. So that's it. Like and subscribe. I'll be back. I'm, I'm going to be getting ready for work and cutting up some cucumbers. And that's it.